Hello, today I would like to present you this absolutely beautiful vintage license free two way radio. It is PMR446 plus LPD. What I really enjoy about it is design. It is desk radio that was designed to be operated inside your home, which is a quite unusual because most of devices that are on market are handheld and it really piqued my curiosity and I've got it in my collection next to the Midland, the GB1, which is also a quite interesting radio that I review on my channel. It is also PMR446, but designed to be operated in your vehicle with external rooftop antenna. But that unit was intended to be used at your desk. I love this design and just take a look at the antenna that you can nicely unfold like this. And it is also reminding me that model that is handheld and also I've got a collapsed able antenna design. I also have got it on my channel so I highly recommend check it out. I just love this device and how it look because it's remind me very much a Kodan HF desk console. So it's got like that commercial feel. So it looks really nice on your desk. Of course, it's fully compliant with PMR446 norm. The antenna is non-removable and it's got output power below 500 milliwatts. That one is signed by a company called DNT, but I seen similar looking device under different brands. So maybe that's not the manufacturer. Maybe it is just some kind of generic Chinese device. We've got possibility to power it constantly via 12 volt power supply. Plus we've got that switch that allow us to choose between alkaline batteries and recharge able. And when we put recharge able batteries in that compartment, then we can recharge them. I've got set to alkaline and I've got just four AA batteries so it can be operated fully wirelessly. And here is the model number. We've got those two mounting holes that allow us to mount it on wall and then we can nicely select the proper polarization depending how it's going to be oriented. Here we've got a large speaker and microphone, but on side we've got like a regular two pin connector for attaching regular shoulder mic. We've got speaker and microphone, so it can be operated remotely if you decide to attach it on your wall or via a headset. Here we've got large PTT and it sounds really great and we are going to try it out. So definitely the microphone have got some sort of circuitry that is amplifying our voice. Next we've got a call button that is sending modulated tone. We've got a memory recall for channels. We've got our power switch and let's try to turn it on. So as you can see, we've got a lot of information on our screen. On top we've got our battery, we are in the power saving mode. We've got the high power. If we briefly press the L slash mon, we activate backlight, but most likely you cannot see that because of my studio light. If we press and hold, we disengage our squelch and enable monitoring mode. And if we PTT and release, we go back to open squelch, which is absolutely great. And I love that design. I hate situation when squelch is being engaged after we press PTT. And on many radios, it is designed in that bad way. Then we've got ability to automatically scan our channels or lock the keypad. If we are looking for hands-free operation, we can always keep using PTT and use the Vox. So you hit it here and by using those buttons you selecting how sensitive it's going to be. I go with the highest sensitivity 
And now when I'm going to be spoken, as you can see, we are transmitting. And as soon as I will stop, it will break. So as you can see, it's working perfect. To disable it, you go to the off. And this is how it's presenting. If you would like to change the channel, you go to the mode. And now you have ability to switch between the all PMR446 channels and also the LPD. So you've got a lot of them. And if you press mode once again, you are selecting those CCTS tone and the off is of course off. Let's go back to our channel number seven because this is when I would like to make our test. Let's see how our paging sound. And as you can see, the tone is extremely nice. Let's quickly take a look what else do we've got. We go into mode, we're selecting our channel, we go second time, we've got our CTCS. The third time we've got low and high power selection, let's go to the low power. We've got our dual watch, so I can select second channel that is going to be monitor in the background. We've got beep, which is just a key press, let's make it on. Roger beep, on off, I would like to have it. We've got our calling tone. Yeah, let's leave that one. And this is all, so let's check the new chime that we just selected. Absolutely beautiful. And of course the Roger beep we can hear. So let's quickly try it out. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. This is how device is operating when being used in receive mode. One, two, three, four, five, ready to check. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. This is how our device operated when being used as transmitter. One, two, three, four, five, radio check. I'm around 30 centimeter from the microphone. One, two, three, four, five, radio check. As you were able to see, that vintage device is still fully operational and looking really great. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you find it interesting. See you next time and bye bye.